Hey, welcome back. While we were gone, uh, it became morning in the sea, so it's just morning now. And my cat woke up. Hi, Spice. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So, oh my god. Okay, here's the introduction to these things having cannons. And whenever these things have cannons, it's super annoying. Because they can actually straight up shoot you off this ladder if their aim ever gets good enough. And they can deal damage to you by shooting your boat. It's not fun. Fight me. Fight me, boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Get. Get. We don't need you up here. What are you doing? You're just standing there. She's like standing here in mid jump position, ready to jump. But she's not jumping. Hey, look, we got all 500 of our dollars back. <laughs> okay. Wow, I. Oh god, okay, we're getting shot at. <laughs> we're getting bombed. Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> that was dangerous. Alright, so we're gonna come over here. Come here, Splash. Come here. Hi. Hi. Lay down. Lay down. Slalom. Slalom. You want to slalom through those because whenever you do it makes these little things appear and then you can play this mini game so that you don't get bored on your trip to wherever it is you were going. Yes, do you see that which rises up from the horizons? That is where you must go, Link. The Forest Haven. We're heading to the Forest Haven. Whenever I was a kid, I always called it Forest Heaven. Because I didn't know Haven was a word, and I, I just thought it was Heaven. <laughs> this is like, hey, this is Forest Heaven. It is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the Spirit of Earth, the Great Deku Tree. Hey, anyone ever remember Ocarina of Time? Remember the great Deku tree? Hey look! That mailbox is dancing. That means we got a reply from something. One letter for you, Link. Here's your letter. To my son's superior. Thank you very much for looking after my boy. This isn't much, but I hope you'll accept it. I politely request your continued kindness toward my son. Kashiko, Beto's mom. Got a piece of heart! Got a piece of heart. Oh. So come in here and buy some more bait, because I'm running low myself. And we have crap tons of money, so it's not like we're wasting anything here. Just buy as much as you can because you're gonna want to fill like entire pockets with this stuff. And always have like seven hundred dollars on hand because you'll you'll want that too. If we can buy one more bait, I'll buy it. But I think we have a full pocket. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's go. Da -na -na. Let me see something. Can we take boat out for a second? Okay, good. Because I want to get this island put on the map. So actually, let's pull that bait back up. Let's fly over to... So fly. Let's swim over to this guy. Get him to put a marker on our map. So let's get Forest Haven placed on our map so that we know where it is. Because we'll have to return here multiple times throughout the game. This is an important island. Okay. Forest Haven. Getting put on the map. If you see that, it's like seven islands all together. Isn't that freaking awesome? Okay. 
The info he has about Forest Haven actually isn't about Forest Haven, it's about Bomb Island. I don't... <laughs> I don't get it too much, really. Okay. Let's come over here. Hey, look, a tingle bottle. Part of the communion of minds. Oh, something I never showed you. <clears throat> but I'm, I meant to, but I didn't. Uh... <clears throat> To easier get collectible items from things that have them, like this enemy coming up. This is this is a Deku Baba. Um, if you want to get collectible items easier from something, smack them with the grappling hook because the collectible item related to that enemy will be lifted off of them and then you can get it back. So it makes it easier when you're fighting Helmarocks to get their golden feathers so that you don't have to kill them over the ledge. And it makes it easier to get joy pendants in case you need more joy pendants. It makes it easier to get Boko Baba seeds. Oh yeah, these are Boko Babas, not Deku Babas. So yeah. Except except for the fact that these things, on average, always give you a Boko Baba seed. You can try to steal it anyways first so that you don't have to worry about it later. It's way easier than, than it seems to steal things off people. Just smack them in the face with this. And uh, you, you, you just steal whatever is in their pockets for some reason. It just flies off of their skull. And, and I, I don't know. That was an Octo Rock. Uh, to fight back Octo Rocks, all you gotta do is shield against their attack. And it will send the rock that they spit at you back at them. And that's that. I, I really don't know what the point of this down here is. Why is this down here? Like, I, I've come down here multiple times to try and figure out if there's like a secret dealing with this little spot. But no, it's just a Boko Baba waiting there to kill you. It makes no sense. Oh my god, I'm getting hungry. I didn't eat at all today yet, and it's 4.04 p.m. Jesus. What I've done with my life, I'm not too sure. But I'm really hungry. But it's okay, because this is the last episode in this session that I'm doing. This session seems so much longer, just because I did Dragon Roost Cavern, and that was like... Almost 40 minutes. That was terrible. So welcome to the inside of Forest Haven. Doesn't it look pretty cool? I think it looks neat. So hey, here's the Great Deku Tree, but we're gonna run into a problem. Mmm. Um. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so get them off by doing this. Then they all fall down. Here's a green chew jelly. This is the first time you get green chew jelly. And these are green choo choos for the first time. Green choo choos. They have more life and require being stabbed twice before they die. So, first of all, there's that problem. And then. There's just the, the problem of they also hide. They sink into the ground, which is really weird. Look, uh, Great Deku Tree is also speaking highly, and, and we have no idea what he's saying. But don't worry, there's an explanation coming up. <laughs> Link's just as confused as we are. He's going to keep talking in highly and Okay. I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven. I am the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, 
Was it not the King of Red Lines, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Koroks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. <laughs> They're adorable. Here they are. These are Koroks. They're cool little guys. I love them. What do you call yourself? Link. Well then, Link, these are Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms, but when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people, but to me, they will be my ever-cherished little children. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold but once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us all. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? Nope. We are not ready. Great Deku Tree, something terrible has happened. It is Makar. Makar. What is the matter, Linda? You and Makar are always late. No, 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 it's not that. Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but still, Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods, and as he drew close to it... Foolish little Makar. Link, you have heard all of this. The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hollowed island of our forest haven. Those woods... The whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? The Great Deku Tree people cannot fly through the air. <sighs> yes, thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea. Link, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children, yet I think I still am able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. Here it comes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright. We'll go get that later. Forgive me, Link, but, uh, could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? Alright. Well, we'll do that next episode and next session, I guess. So, yeah, whenever, um, whenever I come back to record this, we'll continue that. But, I mean, it's not like it's gonna matter for you. We're gonna save. And this is where we're ending off, I guess. So, I guess I'll see you all later. Next episode, we'll go save Makar from the Forbidden Woods. We'll get that leaf so that we can fly through the air. Doesn't that sound cool? I guess this is, uh, this is going pretty well. I'm liking this. This is my favorite game in the world. I'm so excited to be playing it for, like, the hundredth time. I've played this game so many times. So, we'll come back to continue playing it later. See you then.